What's good, y'all? It's your man Money Maze for KicksInTheCity.com. Coming through with a very, very special feature here. And I got my man right here to the left of me. Now, I know all you true football fans know who it is. Now, I know a lot of y'all that just watch on Sundays probably don't recognize him because you can actually see his face. But this is one of the best running backs, if not the best. I'm going to say one of the best because I know old-timers will argue with me all day. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, they'll say one of the best. One of the best running backs to ever play the game of football. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Damian Thomason. Thank you. What's good? It's all good. It's all good? Everything is good right now. Good, good. Now, I have to ask you first and foremost, because I know there's a lot of football fans watching, mm -hmm. the knee. Oh, good? the knee is great, man. You know, I actually spent a lot of time strengthening and rehabbing, and I uh, actually went right into the off season and, and training right on schedule. And haven't had any setbacks. I've been, you know, practicing full go with the team, uh, full speed. So I'm ready to roll, man. So the knee is good. Number one football fantasy draft pick. It's a lock right there. Fantasy football is going to get you <laughs> mad yards. So today, outside of football, we're here to talk about the One World Project. Right. You were selected as a worldwide icon to design your own Air Force One as part of the. Uh, one World Project, Nike Sportswear, Nike Project. Now, tell us a little bit about that. How did that come about, first of all? Well, uh, it was brought to me that, that Nike was, was choosing certain athletes uh, to, to kind of come out with their own Air Force One, um, just to kind of um, uh, kick it back to, you know, Air Force One has been a, you know, it's, it's an icon of a, of a sneaker. You know, everybody knows Air Force One. And so Nike wanted to kind of play play with that and, and having, you know, guys that, that are doing great things on the field, um, you know, make their own Air Force One, you know, and, and what better way to do that uh, than design your own Air Force One. And so they approached me and they said, what do you think about the idea? And obviously I'm like, Air Force One, you kidding me? I'm in. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So now, this is the joint right here. Right. This is the special LT Air Force One, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get right where it belongs right there. So tell me a little bit, break it down for me. Real clean, real simple, but tell me, tell me what it's about. Well, you know, my whole thought was I want to go with a, a clean, um, nice, but, but classic look, you know, because I, I want it to be a shoe that you can wear with anything. You know, you can wear this with a suit if you want to. And that's, that's you know, that's my whole style when I dress. You know, you can have on uh, jeans with a with a argyle sweater or something like that on with with these on, and um, that was my whole thinking. But you know, obviously, I had to go with the the, the baby blue. You know, everybody know, you know, the the baby blue jerseys that we play in, very popular uh, around the country, and so I had to play off that whole theme of letting everybody know exactly. You know what it is, it's powder blue, and it's one of the best colors that, that's ever been uh, made. And then also, I just wanted to throw a little bit of tweak in it, so it have some designs in, inside the shoe. What this kind of look like is actually can be like a dress shoe, like you wear like alligator shoes or whatever it may be. It just have that subtle uh, designs in the shoe. And then you top it off right here, you know what yeah. that is. Yeah, you top it off with the number in the back, letting everybody know once I get past you that 21. It's right there. Right. Yeah. And then you got the LT symbol too right yep. here on the heel. Got the LT symbol. Uh, again, just letting everybody know who shoe it is so you can identify with it. Uh, right now, under here too, you got the clear icy sole so everyone can peep that. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why you went with this type of look on, on the sole as well? Well, I, I like that look. You know, I really like it that it's not real bold, you know, so it's, again, it's, it's subtle. Uh, but but it, it stands out. It's enough to, to make you, you know, do a double take. Right. And so that was the whole purpose in that. Now, when Nike finally tapped in, they said, let's put a sneaker together. What do you think about it at that point? I mean, going back, I'm sure you used to rock kicks heavy when you were in high school and younger and whatnot. So they ask you, LT, let's do an Air Force One. Mm -hmm. what, I mean, were you bugging at that point? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Because I remember, you know, back in high school, you know, having my, my, my first pair of Air Force Ones, the all white ones, you know. Of course. And, and, and so, uh, you know, have an opportunity to do my own and put my own little spin on it. And I know that all my friends rock Air Force Ones. And so this is going to be a shoe where they're going to represent it to the fullest with that. Right. And I want to I want to mention, it keeps on saying my own, my own. You designed this shoe. Yes. Absolutely. Put it together 100%. Absolutely. Which is important. You know what I mean? Exactly. That you put your actual touches on it. So now, your sneaker game, though, mm -hmm. outside of this, yeah. what is it looking like? Well, man, I got all... Um, 
pretty much Air Force Ones and Jordans. You know, that's that's pretty much all I wear. My whole closet is pretty much filled with all kind of Jordans, all kind of Air Force Ones, and also, of course, um, the, the new LTs that's coming out, the cross trainers that's coming out um, this year. So. All right. Now, who has the sickest sneaker game in the NFL? Though? Man, that's that's a good one. Um, you know, a lot of guys are starting to do, you know, the kind of weird throwback, you know, kind of sneakers. Okay. That's cool, you know, because you, you take it back, you know, to, to, you know, way back in the day. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough to tough to say because I got a pretty good mean sneaker game myself, man. I'm right. telling you, you know. So, so no one's I'm, messing with you, you think? No, because, you know, for one, I always get stuff that, you know, no one else has. So every time I go in the locker room, you know, guys like, where you get them from? Don't worry about right, it. Right, right. You know what I mean? So I feel you. So now, to all the people out there that's going to go out and support and cop the LT kick, what do you got to say to them? Well, this is a shoe that you definitely going gonna to love. Uh, like I said, it's a classic look. But yet, uh, yet and still, it can be, you know, a very, uh, a, a, you know, just a, a, a really nice look in, in whatever you may wear. And, um, I don't know any person that I, I've ever met that doesn't like the color of baby blue, powder blue. Right. You know, so that speaks for itself. You know, it's the best color. Right. Now, one, one more sports question before we go. Is San Diego playing in February next year? Well, that's the plan. You know, we was, uh, we was one game away from playing in February this year. And so uh, if, if everything lined up for us, and obviously you got to be a little lucky with injuries, if ever we stay healthy, I like our chances. Right. So again, my man LT, LaDainian Thomason here, previewing the LaDainian Thomason Air Force One white, baby blue, croc and boss on top, icy sole, designed by the man himself, recognize that. I again made for kicksandcity.com with LT, All right, pleasure. Yes, sir. Peace.